what is going on guys in today's video I'm doing a review on the JP B E K I don't know I don't know if I'm saying that right JP Beck the I don't know anyway I don't know what to call these things I'm just gonna call them the JPs um, these guys they're like they're kind of I compare them to the let's go down here uh, wait no we're in the wrong area um, I compare these guys to the ooh, bundles 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 um, I compare these guys to this weapon the um, dual the uh, dual machine guns I compare them to this weapon so much because they're basically the same thing just small rounds and um, kills a little bit faster and better range um, so we're gonna get right into a gameplay this is the um, the prize you guys get at the end of the um, week three of the tr of the um, the fifth anniversary event that Responables is going down with. Um, I'm pretty sure after the um, fourth, after the fourth tier, or after the fourth, um, fourth fourth aisle, um, they're bringing down the Christmas um, event. So hopefully that's going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait. Um, but yeah, you guys get this cool lightning skin. I don't really like the lightning skin. I like the OG red skin because my favorite color is black and red. I love that combination. Knowing that this is the skin of this weapon, it's, it's so cool. All right, so let's try to get right into a match, team verse. Um, also, guys, uh, if you guys saw my first uh, fifth anniversary event thing, you collect um, four. You collect all four colors of cake. You get 25 gold. So I'm just playing team verse because I want to collect all this gold stuff, get as much gold as possible. I know I'm at 17,000, some 1,700. I meant. Um, but let's get right into it. Um, wow. Well, all right. Already getting killed because of lag. Um, so basically, let's talk about this weapon. This weapon, very, 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 very. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Very well. Just super balanced. Um. I think that the range is a little bit much because of the you know the, the fact that it's a dual thing. Um, wow, I'm getting wrecked. Lag is insane. Um, uh, but they basically act just like the dual machine guns. If you've ever played with those, you know exactly how they... It sounds basically the same, um, except it has 36 rounds in the clip. Um, and for dual weapons... Um, no, I know why I'm missing both. All the dual weapons in this game m mainly have extremely short range. You really can't kill someone very far. This thing, the range is very, very, very far. I can shoot guys from way across, not way across the map, I should not say that. But if I were to stand right over here, I'm going to go over here. If I were to stand right here, I could pick a guy off right there. Um, so, I'm going to try and show that for you guys. Um, definitely a good key thing to do when you're playing um, with this weapon is definitely to use your side by side. Use your zigzag movement and shoot around the guy. Also, use your J effect. I, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but that was a perfect example of what I just did. The J effect, basically, when you go around, you scoop around the guy and shoot him in the back and they won't even know this. See how I just did it right there? I ran out of ammo, but I almost, I almost got him. Uh, but basically, that's a perfect way on how to pick guys off easily with this. Um, you will absolutely dominate when you do that day effect. J effect will work 100%. They will not be able to touch you. Um, so that's definitely one of the hacks to use with this weapon. If you do want to, you know, be like overpowered with this weapon and be the best, come out on first in first place. Definitely use that tactic that I just showed you guys because it will help. Um, zigzag effect will help. Um, Came this match late, but that's not the point. Um, real quick, speed agility chest. You can run decently fast. I have all agility on right now, so I, I can run pretty pretty decent. Um, so let's try and get into another match because this match I came in late. Um, I don't think I did very well. I think I got more deaths than kills. Nine deaths? Jeez. Okay then. Alright, let's get into a better match, get some better gameplay for you guys because. That's not very good. Okay. Um, stats. Let's talk about stats of this weapon. I did not say, uh, say that. Three damage, two range, um, one accuracy, and three agility. I think dam uh, the range should go up to three because you can get really far. And accuracy, I think, should be two because the accuracy is very, very decent with this. Um, but agility, it is kind of slow because they are kind of big. Um, I don't know what kind of weapon they would be, like the airsoft. I don't know if... If it's used as an air, as if it was be used, what am I saying? <laughs> I don't know if it would be used as a kind of um, assault rifle, and they just doubled it. I don't know if this is a single, um, if this is a single weapon in the game, just one um, gun. I'm not sure, um, 
But let's get into. We got some snipers. Got some snipers. Wow. All right. Well, we got a sniper up in here. So let's try and wreck this guy. Hopefully. Um. So now, main thing I do want to talk about is the fact that it does take a lot of skill. A lot of weapons take a lot of skill, and then a lot of weapons that don't take a lot of skill. Example, aristocrat shotgun. That does not take a lot of skill at all. Someone who is literally five years old, not even five, like three years old, can come in this game and just dominate with the weapon. That weapon takes no skill. This weapon, however, takes a lot of skill and a lot of practice to get used to. It took me a while. Uh, it was. It's kind of a weird thing. I, it, it really it took me a long time to get used to. So you guys, you're gonna want to use this a lot. Um, it's gonna take a lot to get used to. Um, I didn't really actually. I didn't really get a lot of kills. I only got one kill in my very first time ever using this. I was one for ten. Um, so it's a very difficult weapon to use. I'm not gonna lie. And it's a lot of fun. Once you get to learn how to use it, it is a blast. Trust me. This is probably the the funnest. Not, why am I saying funnest? This is definitely one of my favorite weapons to use. It's just so fun, and it kills so fast. It's almost just like the revolver. It's so much fun to play with, and it, you can just dominate. This is kind of like that. When you get the skill, and you're good enough to play with this thing, it's definitely a blast to play with. So, anyway, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave it to you guys. I'm going to have to go. This weapon, this is getting pretty dang long. See, like the sniper? Side by side. Bam. Didn't even get a single shot off me. Eat that. <laughs> Alright. See, like, kind of the J movement is gonna work, but yeah, see, I still got that guy. Alright, guys, well, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that this did give you a, um, a lot of great tips. Hopefully, it made you, you know, um, it helped you if you're going, if you're wondering if the event is worth it for this weapon. I think it is. I definitely, I would 100% say it's worth it. This weapon's awesome. It's so much fun to play with. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, also, Follow me on Instagram. I have the uh, I have a new uh, Instagram. Um, first time I, uh, actually if I, I've had Instagram, um, it's I'm gonna actually I'm gonna pull it up right now. I can't, it's uh, Junior. Let me see it real quick. It is Junior. Junior. Uh, no, Jr. Underscore Clan Underscore YouTube. Um, so I'll put that in the link in the description. Go follow me. I'm gonna do a lot of um, video updates and just some funny. Um, Responsible memes and stuff. So go follow me um, if you guys want updates about the video. And also, I'm gonna be doing Q and A's on that. So hopefully, that should be a lot of fun. So yeah, guys, go follow my Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Junior signing out.